Welcome back to America's Dairyland, where Wisconsin cheese is always the perfect item to pair with everything. Over the last decade, the number of micro distilleries in the United States has grown from a few to hundreds, including an increasing number in Wisconsin. So I decided to head to a craft distillery to see why these small batch whiskeys, gins, vodkas, and scotches pair so well with cheese. This is my first time at a distillery, Paul, and the first thing I noticed was the smell. It smells like a bakery in here. <laughs> it does, it does. It smells like grain, because we, uh, we cook with grains. Uh, it smells like a brewery. If we're making vodka, we're making it out of corn, so it smells like cornbread in this place. Now, um, I hear that you guys use a lot of local farms and things like that. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, yes. Uh, what we do is we get our grain from a one family farm that's about eight miles south of our building. And the farm is actually right on the 45th parallel. It's a sixth generation family farm. Mm -hmm. They they focus on dairy and we get their crops uh, because they have to feed their cattle, uh, corn, and they also grow wheat and rye. And so that's where we get our grain. Mm -hmm. Because uh -huh. we're just uh, taking the starch from that grain and then we have to get rid of it, so we ship it right to their neighbor. He has a beef farm, and it's fed to the cattle. Huh, kind of full circle. Yeah, exactly. Ways. Within a couple of weeks of getting it, it's right back where we got it from. Paul, what do you think makes you guys really unique, especially in comparison to maybe a few other distilleries across the Midwest? Well, I think what makes us unique is that we're a true grain to glass facility. That means that we start from the grain, and we, the whole process occurs here. We mash, we ferment, we distill, we barrel, we blend, we bottle, everything happens underneath one roof. After tasting a few spirits at the distillery, I decided to head to Merchant, a craft cocktail bar in Madison, whose mixologists create delicious concoctions that pair really well with Wisconsin artisan cheeses. So I was just at 45th Parallel in New Richmond where I sampled some vodka and whiskey. And now I'm at Merchant in downtown Madison, a spot I've been known to frequent a time or two. But today I am learning about some great cocktails that pair well with Wisconsin cheese. So what do you have for me, Thor? All right, so we're going to start off with a Dill Aquavie Collins. So basically it will be a classic Collins, which is usually made with gin. But in this case we're using Dill Aquavie. I thought since we were... Uh, just at 45th Parallel, we feature some of their products as well. Keep so it all Wisconsin, new. huh? So we are pairing this with our house-made ricotta. Uh, the reason we picked this one out is it can be light, refreshing, kind of like the ricotta is as well. Subtle flavors, and we don't want to kind of mask either of them with anything very big and bold. Yeah, and one of the nice things about ricotta is that it's not going to overpower anything because it's relatively simple. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, yeah, that is perfect. Now, which cheese here do you recommend I be trying this with? Yeah, is it ricotta? With the, with the house ricotta All right, right. here. You know, scoop yourself off yes. a little bit, slide it your way. All right. Bread's always nice to have, especially with something yeah. soft like that. That'd be good. Just to help you get it down and a palate cleanse in between. Sure. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Yeah, very light, very good. Mm -hmm. Although it may not be everyone's shot of whiskey, cheese and spirits is a pair worthy of trying. Watch a bonus video of a cheese pairing by logging on to discoverwisconsin.com and choosing destination, America's Dairyland, perfect pairs. Up next, Jake enjoys the sweeter side of cheese pairings with some exceptionally satisfying options. <laughs> 